the Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. All right, so our friend Jack Hess, who's been on our show before, his uh, new song called Swerve on You, uh, it came out at midnight last night. Hey. <laughs> and so to guarantee we'd play it, he got on Amtrak, <laughs> and he came all the way up from his home in Washington, D.C., <laughs> To make sure we play it. Oh, did he? <laughs> so, I mean, so what if we didn't have time to play it today? And if he wasn't here, then I'd be like, well, we'll get to it next time. Yeah. Uh, but he's here, so we have to play so it. We kinda, <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. no choice. I see what you did there. Yeah. That's cool. Well, That's you're cool. down. Yeah, you're shaking this down. I That's like not it. fair. <laughs> so, so how did it feel, like, how does it feel, like, the day before your song's coming out? I mean, is it... Are you nervous? Were you nervous? Were you, is it like, this is Christmas Eve. I hope I'm getting a new Mercedes tomorrow. <laughs> like, what does it feel like? I, I don't know what it feels like. I mean, like, usually I'm so nervous, but, like, I feel like this next single is something that, like, I just really want to bring to the table because it's, like, so different than all my other music, and I feel mm-hmm. like it'll just stand out so much. Like, I just want to put it out there, you know what I mean? All right. So you're, like, you Yeah, you I'm excited. Yeah, I want it out there. You, know you, I mean? you were mad until it came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, counting down the hours. I'm, like, come on, come on, come on. You know, the thing that uh, first struck me about Jack when I first heard his voice, uh, and I'll tell you where I met him in a few minutes, was your voice, I don't, I'm sure people have told you, you have a very unique sound. Thank you. And in this in this world of musicians and artists, you know, to be unique and be yourself and unlike anyone else, that's the key. <laughs> yeah, you know. Sure. And then, then success also comes from knowing the right producers mm-hmm. and being in the right place at the right time and, you know, paying people off with cash. <laughs> <laughs> that's very important. It's always good to pay people off with cash. Yeah, and, and by the way, we haven't played the song yet, Jack. Just, <laughs> just Where's my wallet? Okay, just out of curiosity, how much cash do you have on you? Uh, a few hundred. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Really? Okay, back oh. in the old days in radio, they called that payola, That's where right. people would pay them to play the song, and then they would play it. We can't do that anymore. You know what? We, we, That's I, illegal now, Elvis. No, they're not going to take me to jail. <laughs> no way. As long as you disclose that you did it, you're safe. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. pretty sure. I right. need an envelope. I tell you what, I, I, I believe in you so much, I'm going to give you a credit on this one. I'm not going <laughs> to charge you for it. Now, I first met Jack... Uh, at this incredible event we were doing in South Florida. It was right after the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting. And uh, we invited some of the students from uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School to come to this party. And then they had other students from other schools who actually competed with them in sports, this and that. They all came together to salute these students. And so up on stage, this guy Jack Hass says, oh, here, I'm going <laughs> to sing a song. And you, they loved it. They were great. That was a very Thank touching you. night. That was a great night. Yeah, it was amazing. So, you know, and I love that, you know, when you're when you're an artist and you're an up and coming artist, you could just spend all your time and energy just taking care of you and your craft. But when you can help others in the same at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. That was, was incredible. It was huh? so amazing just being there because like I saw so much stuff on like the news and videos. I was like watching all about it. But then being there like really like touched my heart when you yeah. actually see like how these people are affected by that. I know. And, and I was so nervous in meeting these students because yeah. you want to say the right thing because they need yeah. they, they need they all need the guidance, positivity. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. You, you did a great job. Thank you. And then he brought a girl up on stage, started singing to her. Oh. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. well, I don't do you know. do you do that at all your shows? Pick a different girl? Um, here and there. <laughs> I thought it'd be special for something to do. She actually went to the school. So oh, right? Yeah. And they were smiling for the first time that night. It was that Aww. soon after. Wow. And so, I mean, Jack and Jack were there. Yeah. yeah. Or was it Jack and Jack? I get them mixed Jack up. And Jack. Jack both, and Jack. Both Jacks were there. <laughs> and it was a great yeah. night. But that's where I first met Jack. I uh, mm-hmm. met Jack Hess. Yeah. Jack, Jack, and Jack. So that was obviously a moment for you, right? Yeah, Something no. that you're definitely going to remember mm-hmm. about 2018. So as the year wraps up and you look back at the rest of 2018, what were some of your big, like, holy crap, I can't believe that just happened? Um, definitely that for sure. Being on Elvis Duran. Hey. <laughs> the king. Uh, he really the wants king. to play that song. Right. He actually yeah, enjoys yeah. giving me cash to Where's pay Where's my wallet? Yeah. <laughs> also, I mean, you were in the, uh, the March for Our Lives. Yeah. I mean, you toured with Max, our friend Max. <laughs> yeah, I did, did a few things with him. Did he give you any advice? Um, here and there. He's just a cool dude. Like, I love his performances because he's so, like, energetic. Oh, you my know gosh. I mean? So much. And he, and he dresses great. Yeah. He does. Yeah, he's all, like, sparkly. <laughs> yeah, he's always he sparkly. sparkly. I'm like, where did you get that jacket? He, he got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> it was, it was a, no, no, it, it was a bath mat. He turned into a, <laughs> into a jacket. Only Max can do that. Cool. Uh, all right, okay. So we're going to play your new song, Swerve On You, in a couple of seconds. It came out at midnight last night. I want everyone to go stream it, download it, do whatever you, Help me want, out. you do. Yeah, no, look at him. He just, he lost all of his money. You know, <laughs> he, he 
had to pay for an Amtrak ticket. <laughs> yeah. So swerve on you. Is this part of an album? That's. I mean, are you finally going to do like a full album? Yeah. You've, you've, did, you've done the EP thing. Yeah, I've been putting together a ton of songs. So maybe make like twenty or thirty of them and choose a few and throw them on. Thirty. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pick and choose. You get, you know, you get well, the best ones. What do you do with the rejects? Those are good too, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Daniel, what was your idea for people who... Like, oh, you need a reject album. Because if, if you have a lot of fans, they're going to buy your reject that's album. True, that's but true. It won't matter. But it was All someone right. we were interviewing. You, <laughs> yeah. had, you had a name for the album. Like, I, I forget. It's I forget. Like, I'll take your advice. <laughs> you're, it's like the songs that didn't make it yeah, on the good album. Yeah. It's all my crap songs. Crap songs. <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs> we love Jack. Jack this is crap. crap. I know. There you go. There's the good one. The okay <laughs> one. Anyway, uh, the name of the song is Swerve on You. It's out right now. It's been out for uh, a little over six hours. Right? Yeah. Seven hours, whatever time it is right now. Uh, and here it is, Jack Hess. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God you got the right bus.